Well, golly, well, thanks for stopping on by. At the brick zone. The brick zone. Howdy, everyone. This is Lego Lone Ranger set 79108 Stagecoach Escape. The set had 279 pieces for $29.99 and was released in 2013. First off, we have the Lone Ranger himself. And from what I hear, people thought that the new movie that came out, that these sets are based off of, the one from Disney, people, most people thought it was too long. Uh, I guess I could agree with that, but I think I enjoyed the movie well enough. Uh, the front of his torso has really good printing. Uh, you can see his little sheriff badge. And he has this coat on, his, this black coat. Kind of like an overcoat, I'm not sure, but the nice thing about the printing is that it extends from his torso to the top half of his legs, so that's really nice. Uh, he has his signature black mask, and his also signature white hat, his cowboy hat, so that's a pretty cool piece to have. He comes with a, the, new, the newly designed pistol, or the newly designed revolver pistol, I guess. There's also back printing as well. So yeah, nice figure. Of course, what would the Lone Ranger be without Tonto? Can't have Lone Ranger without Tonto. And this is a pretty interesting figure. A lot of, a lot of different colors going on here. Especially on that headpiece of his. Kind of reminds me of Captain Jack Sparrow from the Pirates of the Caribbean sets, even though I never had any. Um, he, has, he has the stuffed crow on his head, just like in the movie. And the printing is pretty nice. And his face, he looks really happy and, and really like innocent looking. It, it, but at the same time, I don't know, I, I like the facial paint. It kind of looks like some rock, some, like one of those rock stars like from Kiss or something. And here's a better look at the print. He just looks so happy. And on the back side, you have his scared expression and a bare back. So, that's Tonto. Next up we have Barrett. I don't remember his character from the movie, but this Lego minifig itself looks generic enough that you can kind of just use him as any random cowboy villain. He has this really mean face. Well, not that mean, but just uh, maybe a little angry face going on with those, with those sideburn mutton chops. <laughs> um, he has a black cowboy hat and a gray coat and some cowboy pants. And he has, again, like the Lone Ranger, the new revolver design. He's dual wielding right here. But yeah, actually, I really like this one. Just because, you know, it's not specific to the Lone Ranger. Like, the Lone Ranger and Tonto will still always be Lone Ranger and Tonto. This guy you can just use for any, any Western related things. Here is Jesus. And again, like Barrett. He's generic enough that you can pretty much use him in any western themed kind of thing. And I also don't remember his character. <laughs> uh, he just looks like just a random cowboy. He has the brown Indiana Jones hat. Uh, this red scarf, or this red bandana actually. That you can either put like that, or... If you would prefer... can also turn it around so you can kind of see his face a little better like this he has some rings under his eyes looks kind of tired and uh, this kind of this suspicious grin on his face kind of shady uh, his torso printing he has this brown vest on tan shirt underneath and he's wielding dual daggers or little hand knives Last but not least, we have Red Harrington, and I have to say, this minifig is just, she looks amazing. Um, wow, that's so interesting. So many interesting things going on. Let's see, you have uh, the legs that are two different colors, the, the white and the red leg, and on the white one you have this really intricate looking design. Um, she has the lower, like the little tiny cape piece that's supposed to be the dress. I mean, I feel like it would make more sense if maybe we had two and it kind of like wrapped around, but it looks kind of cool. Um, 
Her torso piece itself looks pretty cool. I'll take off the hair so you guys can get a better view. But that hair piece with the hat, that's... Wow, look at that hair. It's the lines and the shape. It's just... It looks great. Like, and look at the back. It's like, it looks like a flower, really. Like, like a rose or something. With all those lines and uh, the texture. And that hat, like the colors are just... Uh, I don't know. It's, it looks really cool. And um, if you don't know before, the hat is detachable. So that's what she looks like without the hat. Uh, there's this really tiny pin. So I guess for other compatible hair pieces, you, you can attach them. Kind of like the Friends figures or or just any other hair piece with a little hole. And that that hair piece isn't hard plastic. Like some it's the it's the more rubberized kind, but I still think it looks pretty good. Uh she has this kind of mean looking face on there. Eh. <laughs> um she comes with two two of the new revolver pieces just like the Lone Ranger and Barrett. Only this time Hers come in a dark metal gray, like gunmetal gray, rather than the the silver that the, the other two minifigures had. So that's a, that's pretty cool to get like that variety. So I'm just gonna turn her around right now. There's her back printing, and if we take off the hair, she has a scared expression. So nice to have the option. And here's the front of the torso. The set comes with three horses, you get two black ones to pull the stagecoach itself, and you get a brown one, which has a grey saddle which holds a bundle of dynamite and a shotgun. But the set also includes a couple of 1x2 bricks and a 1x2 plate, which if you want, you can take off the saddle or the stagecoach, and you can place it in between the horse, so if you want them to just be roaming around free without anything on them, you have the option. Um, and also, um, you get the new the new design of the horse, like the one the one you can bend. Oh, whoops. <laughs> that horse fell over. I'll just take it off. You can you can bend the, the horses like this. You know, put them in this pose. Kind of like that signature look that the Lone Ranger has when the horse is bucking up like this. Um, but yeah, you can never get enough Lego horses. So it, oh, that brown one really doesn't want to stand up. Um, yeah, so it's nice that you can you get three in this set. Alright, here's the stagecoach itself. And it looks really good. I like the colors. It's, it's mostly red, black, and tan. Uh, I don't think it's ac I don't think I remember seeing it in the movie itself, like in the Lone Ranger movie. So, you know, this Lego set is I don't know, it's kind of like its own standalone thing, really. <laughs> um just want to give you guys a 360 view of the whole thing before going zooming in and going more into detail. So, just one more turn around. All right. In the front, you have two black horses pulling the stagecoach itself, so it goes like this. And the the build where they're connected, it's connected by a little ball and socket joint right there, so you know it's really easy for them to turn and pull it in whatever direction. Up there, there's a seat for a driver, so for example, if you want, you can place Tonto or anyone else you choose right here, and you can take hold of these reins. Uh, he kind of holds onto them. It's a bit loose, but you get the idea. And for some reason, there's a stick attached there, and there's, I think that looks like a lamp on the front. Yeah, two, two lamps or headlights. <laughs> um, it's kind of strange on a stagecoach. And on the other side, there's this little stack. I guess that's why the stick is there. There's a sack that, that hangs on the stick through that hole. And inside the sack, you get a letter, and you get Tonto's, if you 
you guys can see that. Probably not because it's not focusing. You get Tonto's pocket watch. So that's it's kind of essential to the plot, or it's part of the plot, I guess. And it's a cool little printed piece. It's done a one by one printed smooth tile. The stagecoach itself is on these really giant tan wagon wheels. And uh, I don't know, I think the whole stagecoach um, in general is kind of, it seems out of scale with the minifigs. So, for example, like, like, oh, whoops. <laughs> can't, can't get these things to stand up today. Um, so this is the Lone Ranger, like, that wheel is bigger than him. So, yeah, even like stepping up there, like right here, where they're supposed to step, like, even when he raises his leg all the way, he can't, can't really reach there. I mean, you, you kind of have to use your imagination, maybe. Oh, and that's another thing, like, it can kind of bend. I mean, not really down all the way, but it shakes a little bit. But, uh, but yeah, I don't know, it, it looks really big uh, for their, for minifig scale. I mean, the whole thing looks good, but again, yeah, it looks, it looks pretty big. Uh, and while we're here, behind him, you can see you get two doors, and those are stickers. There are stickers in this set. Uh, a couple, actually. And those two open up, so, like so. You can just open that up. I think it would be uh, nicer if, if the... See this brown part and this red part? It would be cool if, if those opened up as well. Like, I feel like that would be easier for them to access, like, realistically. Like, you'd have to, like, hop over that, too, but... You know, it's, it is what it is. So here's a better look at the side view of the, the seating area of the carriage, or the, the stagecoach itself. Uh, you can see there are two black windows on each side, with those doors I mentioned earlier, and the stickers. Uh, honestly, I don't really think these stickers add all that much. This one does, the one that says stagecoach, although I don't really see... I don't think they needed to label it stagecoach. <laughs> Uh, it's a little obvious, but you also have the option to remove the roof. So that's what that looks like from above when you remove the roof. And you can see there, there's a place for them to sit. You have a better view. So... Okay, this isn't really a better view, but I tried. Now, if you look hard enough, you can see inside there, you have some more stickers, but those stickers are really good because it looks like... It makes it look like a leather seat, and there's also some more detailing above the seat itself. Like they look like brown, brown leather cushions or something. And on the other side, you get the same sticker. Don't know if you guys can see that, but it's there. Just believe me. Um. So this isn't really a better view, but uh, I think it'll get the point across. Uh, when you remove the roof, it, it lets some light in, and it also allows you to put any figure you want inside. So if you want. Put the Lone Ranger over here. Maybe put the Red Harrington in here, and that looks pretty nice. If we go to the back of the stagecoach, you have this big black compartment piece here. And if you push down on these Technic pins hard enough, then if you guys saw that. I'll try again. Um, here, I don't even, oh, yeah, it's pretty simple. It just, this little suitcase gets flung out if you push down those pins hard enough. Uh, and inside, oh, you get another of the, the pocket watches. I'm trying to get a better. It's a really nice peach. Peach, not peach. It's a really nice piece. <laughs> so yeah. Well, you can put that suitcase back in for storage, or like I said, uh, see it gets jammed sometimes, but yeah, you can just fling it out like a catapult. I'm sure you already noticed, but in case you didn't, there's a safe on top of the roof. And it's easily removable. It even has these side handles, either for minifigs or for human hands. 
that you can just take off, and it's only held by two pins, or uh, two studs, so it's easily removable, which is nice. So let's take a closer look at this. This safe is great. It's a great build, and the colors are also really nice. It, this re it's this really interesting shade of green. It's kind of a bluish green. Uh, I don't know what color green that is. Uh, hmm. Sage, maybe? No, I'm probably wrong. I'm terrible with colors. And the handles are gold, along with the knob on the front. And also on the front, you get this light gray, this light gray kind of valve. Um, or this wheel for turning safe. And it, if you want, a minifig or you can open it up. And I just like the design. Like, it looks... It looks bulky, like, it looks like a safe, like, it, 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 you, it looks like you can, you can feel the weight in this thing, you know, like, it looks, as light as it is, like, it looks heavy, it looks like it would be heavy to minifigs, but anyway, inside, you can put some stuff in, I put, I personally put, I'm not sure if these were intended to be gold, or if these are just extra studs that came with the set, but I put them in anyway, to act as, like, gold coins or something, would have been nice to get actual coins, but, can't, can't get everything. Um, and also inside is a brick of silver, or a bar of silver. And that's, it's really cool that they gave you something, a little something to put in here. You could also put like the, the letter that was in that sack from earlier, you could probably put that in here as well if you really wanted to. And you could seal it up and pretend to lock it up. But yeah, I really like this safe. Really clean looking, really it's realistic, or well, if not realistic, it, it has a very Wild West feel to it. So that's good. Even if you didn't like the Lone Ranger movie that came out last year, I still think this set is a great standalone Western themed Lego set, uh, especially since it's not even in the movie, as far as I can tell. Uh, you, the stagecoach is a great build, it looks great. I really like the safe, like I mentioned earlier. You get three ponies, and in total you get five minifigs, all for like around $30. Uh, Value-wise, it's, it's great. And uh, play-wise, there's a lot you can do. I mean, you can, you can do a lot of different scenarios. You can have like the Lone Ranger meeting up with Red Harrington in the stagecoach. You know, maybe they're making a deal or something, and uh, you have the vault on top, and maybe Jesus and Barrett can be like holding up the stagecoach and trying to steal like the the silver inside the vault or something. It's and Tonto's just there, I guess. Um, yeah, just so much for for the value for for thirty dollars, you get so much. So I would definitely recommend this set if you're into western. Uh, when I was little, one of my favorite Lego sets was Fort Lego Rado from the old western theme. So. I'm really, I, I like Western, and I wish they, uh, Le that LEGO brings back Western, like an actual Western theme, uh, not Lone Ranger themed. Um, but yes, I would definitely recommend this set. Well, golly, well thanks for stopping on by at the Brick Zone. We'd all love it around here. If y'all could like and favorite and share this video with y'all family, y'all friends, and y'all closest animals. Please let us know if you have any feedback down in the comment box. See y'all later.